Good afternoon, gardening friends, and welcome back uh, to another Sunday update, even if I haven't uploaded last Sunday's update yet. I think I'm going to get both of them done tonight, though. Um, I'm walking around this side because we did a little bit of work this week, and I kind of forgot to get the before picture kind of thing. But over here where we've got the jade plant and the agave, uh, it's a foxtail agave. It's not the kind they use for tequila um, but uh, this dad did a bunch of trimming on the tree he wanted to, to shrink it back down again this thing just grows like crazy um, kind of give you that view there and so I say or he started saying well uh, or actually there was a one of the agaves down here that was a little too big and you see you can see I got a couple of them just sitting there loosely not even planted right now but there was one more right where the uh, where that one's laying down. I picked that one and put it up over here and cut the ones that were up here and dug out the area. And when I dug it out, it was like, hmm, let's deal with the jade plant too. It's getting a little too big and it was sitting right next to the sprinkler head here. So what I wanted to do is clear a path between the wall and the plantings so the sprinkler actually has a chance to get over to the left because if you look the jade plant is looking a little yellow so I want to make sure that they got some water so there was a bit of excavating and clearing and pulling roots up and clearing all of that and a couple of new ones and dug up some rocks while I was at it um, I mean the rocks happened to be there and well there's one piece of concrete so kind of laid them out like that hopefully that's not too bad um, at least it'll help support the plants until they root and that's kind of what that area looks like. I think Dad pulled some weeds over in here, behind the wall, and I'm just walking around to get to the usual stuff. Uh, we did pick a few oranges off of the navel tree. And let's open the gate. Sorry for the noise. Uh, so we've been picking some of them. And despite them looking very yellow, they've actually been reasonably sweet. So we're not too sure what's going on. Also, I think I mentioned last time, we we're expecting flowers on the trees, which is an indication of next year's crop, and we haven't been seeing them. So not sure what to make of that. Um, the plumeria is doing nicely, I guess. I just watered, so some of this stuff is still a little wet. Um, not really anything exciting here. Work our way around though. And the big surprise, I think, is the cucumber plant is producing quite a few flowers. I staked it and tried to kind of encourage it to, to climb. Um, I need to do a little bit better job now that it's getting taller. Um, if I can encourage it and then it starts climbing, that'll be a good thing. Uh, we've got the Swiss chards. Actually, you know, that almost looks like there might be some edible stuff here. That's not that bad. Um, it's basically, I was letting it go to seed, except for the one other little plant, just because I want to kind of see what it looks like going to seed. So that's two plants, but they're right next to each other, I think. That may be the same plant. Anyway, you could kind of get the idea on that. Let's look at, let me back out here. Ooh, wow, we went blurry there for a second. Uh, the celery plant is wilted over right now, but I just watered, so hopefully it'll perk back up. The bean plants are doing good. There are the pea plants, got a couple more pods on it now. That's nice. Uh, they're not really climbing all that well, even though I put a bunch of stakes in there. But it does look like the bean plants are actually starting to climb and once again I got a couple of little red buds there so I'm hoping that will turn into flowers and then actually turn into beans because all I get is the buds they get a little bit bigger and then they just drop off so I'm not sure what's going wrong there that's that and through the gate around the pool and I also put some fertilizer on the plants today. Uh, just a standard sort of granulated uh, fertilizer that you mix in with the water and just give them a good drink of water. So 
we've got the cherry pick peppers still very green we got the Roma tomatoes we've actually pulled a couple and enjoyed them we've got the big tomato I forget exactly what variety this is does it actually say there's a tag down here Atlas there you go so it's an Atlas tomato whoops and then there was a sudden time jump uh, apparently the uh, video the phone did heat up and uh, stopped recording uh, I don't know if I'd mentioned that the phone was heating up but I do get a little message on my phone when it starts to overheat and I just hadn't noticed that it stopped recording anyway back to the show uh, so yeah it's an Atlas tomato they're doing quite nicely uh, I believe I've already kind of gone through this. Whoops, it's just that time of day. It's about six o'clock now, and I'm standing right in my own sunlight. Uh, we've got the nasturtium, which has done better. Uh, I think really what I've noticed is the more I pinch off, the faster it kind of grows back, and then it just starts to wilt again. So I just need to pick some off and make some salads and maybe harvest some seeds. I've got seeds here. That's pretty cool. That's what the seeds look like uh, before they dry out. I'll have to look and see if any of them are down below. We've got the giant Marconi, which is just doing ridiculously well. Um, although now it looks like Something's getting into it, which is not does not make me happy. I guess I'm gonna have to cut that one off and wait for it to bring it inside where it's not so susceptible, and wait for it to ripen. Uh, we've got the other pepper, which I will go ahead and look up what this actually is. It just looks different from anything I was expecting. Uh, I thought maybe this was a bell, but I don't think it's a bell uh, unless that's how bells grow. It looks like a really thin-skinned pepper. I don't know. I'll see if I can look it up and I'll put the answer right here. And behind that we've got some basil and actually some basil here. So uh, the basil is doing okay. Um, we've been harvesting, we've been enjoying, and we've got more than we need. So, and I have to keep pinching the tops off of these. To, to encourage it to grow a little bit taller and to produce a little bit more. Otherwise, it'll just go to seed. Um, oh, I know. I haven't showed you much of this. This is all mom's work. I gotta give her the credit, and dad's got the bushes up above. Um, sometimes I trim them, but, you know, gotta be proud of mom. She does a really nice job here. And then if I move over, We'll go around the uh, barbecue here. We've got the lettuce patch. Our lettuce plant is doing quite nicely, and we finally decided to just go ahead and put the oregano in there and give it a place to actually grow instead of leaving it in a little pot and having to water it every single day. So maybe it'll develop a little bit more of a root system. Anywho, that's pretty much what the garden looks like on this particular Sunday. This is the Budget Gardener signing off saying stay safe folks and may your thumb be green.